Another powerful thing Microsoft has added to functionality of SQL Server 2005 to the Management Studio is the ability to create Server Management Studio solutions. And I want to show you one of these. And I want to go through real slow and just kind of give you a step-by-step run-through here of a simple solution. Now, think about what a solution is. There are times when you're working on certain projects with your database that you have certain things that are related. Okay, for example, a reporting project where you're writing a bunch of scripts or a database application that you want a certain bunch of functionality to be grouped together so you can work on it without having to go hunt all over your hard drive or your folder structure to find all the script files and so forth. That's what a solution is good for. So let me show you how to build one. I opened the Management Studio, and so what I'll do now is go File, New, and I'll tell it that I want to do a new project. So notice the projects I can do, SQL Server Scripts, Analysis Service Scripts, or SQL Mobile Scripts. We want to do a SQL Server Script. So we're going to give it a name, and I'll call it uh, Mark uh, Script, and we click OK. And so what's going to happen then is, if you'll notice up here in Solution Explorer, and I'm going to pin this, and if you can't see Solution Explorer, again, go to View, and you can see Solution Explorer right here. So I would choose Solution Explorer. Now notice, for these particular scripts, I can right-click my connection folder and say New Connection. And this is how I'll connect to work in this project. And so that gives me my connection. And I notice I went to my named instance called Mark. Then, notice there's a Properties window. And I'm going to come down here and open this up. I just clicked on it and brought it up. And on the Properties window, I can set all kind of information about my connections and so forth. And so you'll see that it's there. Okay, I'm going to close that out. Just want you to know the Properties window's there. So you can see Properties on all these things. If I click on my connection itself, and go to Properties. You'll notice that I can see an execution timeout, my initial database, the login timeout, and so forth. All kind of things I can see that's being used on this. Let's go back to Solution Explorer. Notice on Queries, I want to right click and do a new query. And notice what this is doing. It's giving me a connection based on that. Here's my query window. So I can go out, type some Transact SQL statements that I want to use. For example, we did uh, select asterisk from the sysobjects database. And so notice, it's going to gonna give me a problem there. Tell me that's in the master database. How about if I spell it correctly? You think that might do it? So notice, that's a good real world example, isn't it? So now that I've got my sysobjects, that is my query right here. And notice I can rename this query to say and there's my query miss queries uh hang on a minute, I killed my SQL. There we go. Another good real world example. I would to edit that out, but I want you to see that. Notice what it's doing, it's looking for the .sql extension to hold it in the queries. So anyway now, when I save this solution, when I close this solution and ask you do you want to save it, I can save it yes, and then later I can open it back up. All my queries are together, everything's in that solution together, and I can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm all together, I'm, I'm all organized. Much, much better than what you used to have to do it, where it was dependent on you to create folders and put them out there on the hard disk and so forth. That's a SQL Server Management Studio solution.